Our meditation today is on Mundaka Upanishad Mantra. It is Atma Swarupa. Like I said, Mundaka Upanishad, there are two very important mantras. Natatra Surya Bhati is one. And this particular verse, the sixth verse of the first chapter, first section. Mundaka has got a very beautiful story where the student asked the teacher, can you teach me that vidya by which I can know everything in this world? One vidya by which I can know everything. The guru then teaches this vidya, this vidya which is called as para vidya. We have seen this in the uh, Bhagavad Gita also, the seventh chapter. Now, the Paravidya is described beautifully in this work, one verse. And with this verse is what? Atma Swarupam. What is this verse? Yatad Dreshyam Agrahyam Agotram Avarnam Achakshushotram Tadapani Padam Nityam Vibhom Sarvagatam Susukshmam it gives us 12 indicators of the Atma. Each of this can be meditated. Each of this can be meditated. I will just explain to you today a general meaning of this and then slowly we'll try to understand how this can be meditated also. That which is invisible yet that adresya ungraspable unoriginated what is attributeless that Atma does not have eyes or ears or hands or legs. That Atma is eternal. That Atma is full of manifestations. Manifestations mean appearances. It is all pervading. It is the subtlest of the subtle. And it is called as the imperishable being. Imperishable being, very important. Imperishable means beyond time. And what is that? It is called as the source of all creation. So by knowing the cause, which is gold, you will know all the or ornaments. By knowing the wood, you will know all the furniture. By knowing uh, 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 the iron, you know all the iron instruments. Similarly, by knowing the cause, one cause of this universe, which is this imperishable aksharam, atma, then you will know the whole universe. That is the teaching in this verse. The main point we should note is it is imperishable. We must contemplate on the imperishable nature of Atma. Atma is the only thing in the entire universe which doesn't change. There is no modification. With this, we'll just start our meditation today. Please close your eyes. Let the body relax completely. To take a deep breath. And slowly you exhale. Again, take a deep breath. and slowly 
exhale. Keep the exhale as long as possible. This exercise is very good to remove the agitations of the mind. I become aware of my breath, a subtle breath, which is calm, relaxed, peaceful. For the next 10 minutes, I will remain a sakshi to all external thoughts if they come. I remain sakshi to the blankness I experience in my mind. I am pure, without any thoughts. I have no differences in Atma. There is no subject and object difference. Both have merged into the self. I don't allow a new thought to initiate. I remain as a witness. as the light of awareness, I remain as kutastha, aksharam, imperishable. The whole world comes because of this light, which I am experiencing now. The light of the self. The spiritual light. Pure light. the light in which I know the universe of form and color, sound, taste, smell, and touch. There is no other universe apart from the five sense objects.
the universe is perceived by me, the consciousness, the core of my personality. The universe manifests and unmanifests. I am the container of the whole universe. Chaitanyam principle, awareness principle. It holds the matter when it is manifest. It holds the matter in unmanifest form. I am a pure being. I have wrongly identified myself with the body. And the mind. Now I correct the notion. I am the self, the light of consciousness. The only pramanam, the source of this knowledge is the Veda. Eyes cannot see this light. Ears cannot hear this light. It is not known by the sense organs or the mind and intellect. I cannot think of this light, but I can claim I am this light. I can abide in this light because it is my very nature. I don't look for anything else. I am complete. Purnaha. I feel fulfilled in life. happy, very peaceful. This is my natural state. I am one with my nature. I can remain in this nature of mine. As long as I want.
I am alert. I am conscious. I'm totally aware. Oh, oh. Once again, I'm aware of the breath. I have learned to be with my own nature, pure awareness. This is the blessing of the study of the Upanishads. Gently open your eyes.